Mama Bear here with a daily dash of life. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to send you a very big welcome. And if you're one of my 12 gallon cup drinkers, welcome back. Just the other day, my cousin Gochujang Mama and I were both talking about how we wanted pot roast this week. I'm on the road visiting beautiful scenic Colorado, and I just knew I was gonna wanna cook on the road. So I made sure to bring some supplies with me. There's my kitchen for now. I'm cooking my pot roast in a slow cooker for the whole set it and forget it aspect. I have some things to do around here, some cleaning up to do before dinner, and I just wanna leave it alone until it's dinner time. So that's what I'm doing. But if you wanna know how to make it on the stove top, Gochujang Mama would be tickled pink to show you how. I will leave the link to her video in the description box below. And while you're at her channel, feel free to look at all of her other dishes. She has a variety of different ones. And because she has a multicultural household, her dishes reflect that. The ingredients I will be using today are salt and pepper to taste, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to brown the meat, and the veggies I am tossing in the pot along with the meat are gonna be onions, red peppers, and baby carrots. Because I have some portobello mushrooms I forgot to use in another dish, I'm going to toss those in too. The ingredients will be in the description box below. I like to cut the core of my peppers and thinly slice them. Then I cut the onion in half and thinly slice those as well. After that, I just break up the onion and mix them together. In this small hotel, I have to constantly clean as I go so that I have a clear workspace at all times. Before I season my meat, I add a small amount of extra virgin olive oil to a hot pan. Again, because I am in a hotel room, I have to improvise to prepare my meat. Today I am using a boneless pork butt roast, but you can also use beef chuck shoulder, roast Angus beef labeled pot roast, and Gochujang Mama is using a top round roast. Papa Bear really likes the marbling of the pork butt roast, so that's why I've decided to use it today. Grab your meat and begin to season it to your liking. I find that all I need is salt and pepper. I let the meat and veggies do the rest and I love it. Now that my meat has been seasoned to just the way I like it, and the cubs are entertaining themselves, I'm going to put it in my hot pan to brown. This is a step you can skip if you don't have the time, but just keep in mind, it does add an extra layer of flavor when you do brown it. And if you do decide to brown it, brown all the sides. Papa's favorite part of the meat is the brown side. When I'm satisfied with my browning, then I transfer the roast to the slow cooker with the fat facing up. This will allow the drippings to flavor the meat under it, and it helps season the veggies as well. I usually use my seven quart oval slow cooker when I'm making my pot roast, but I brought this spare six quart round to save space, so I have to pack everything in tight today. I'm packing in my onions, peppers, carrots, and mushroom, but you aren't limited to just those veggies. Lots of people add potato chunks. I do too, actually, 
but I want some mashed potatoes tonight. I bought some baby reds to make a fresh batch of mashed potatoes, and I wanted to make some fresh spinach too to go along with it, but wouldn't you know it, I forgot to buy the spinach. That's what happens when you're seven months pregnant, you just forget everything. When you get comfortable making this dish, you will start changing the vegetables up. Gochujang Mama is making hers with some fresh rolls. Mmm, yummy. You will also find as your veggies change, so will the mill. Sometimes we turn the roast into tacos and just top it with a little bit of sour cream. My meat won't be done until it falls apart when I grab a piece of it. For my mashed potatoes, I'm going to start off by adding some water to a pot, putting the lid on top and setting my burner on high. I put the lid on top to help the water heat faster. As I wait for the water to boil, I will wash and roughly chop the potatoes. When the water comes to a fast boil, I will add my potatoes to it and allow it to come to a boil again. Once the water is boiling, I set the timer for 20 minutes. When the time is up, pull your potatoes out. Add some softened or melted butter and the seasonings you like. I like salt, pepper, and generally I like paprika when I make my red potatoes, but I didn't have any with me. You can begin mashing the potatoes with a fork, a masher, or a hand mixer. I prefer a hand mixer, but being here, I have to use what I can. Add room temperature milk into the mashed potatoes a little bit at a time. If you add too much, then you run the risk of getting them too mushy. Thanks for coming by. I hope you enjoy this meal the next time you're at home or in a hotel. Toodles. This has been Mama Bear with a Daily Dash of Life. And as always, don't forget to spice up yours. May God bless you. Thanks for watching. To subscribe, click my watermark and click any video icon for more videos or to start a playlist. Check out bonus footage at Instagram and Twitter at A Daily Dash of Life. Toodles!